Hi, Oddings. It's your Ate Sapphire. Don't forget to subscribe to Snarled and turn on the bell for notifications. Hey, I'm Sapphire. Wanna hear something scary? The Gruga. The following is based on a true story submitted by Captain. Back when I was around 10 years old, I was growing up in rural Scotland with my mom and my little sister, Amelia. There wasn't much to do out in the grasslands, so we chased each other around the house and come up with little games to play. But when Amelia turned about seven, she became a bit distant to me. Not like she hated me, but instead she was focused on something else. I approached her about it one day, and she explained that she has to play with her friend Tom too, or else he gets jealous. I assumed Tom was her imaginary friend. One day, I was reading in my room when my mom burst through the door, enraged. Elizabeth, did you eat all of my honey? Those jars are not cheap. I specifically told you it was for special occasions only. It wasn't me. I did, Mom, my sister said as she entered my room. I had to feed Tom and he loves honey. Amelia, if you wanted some honey, you should have just asked and I would have given you a little bit. There's no need to make up stories, okay? But Tom loves it. Look, I'll show you. My mom and I followed Amelia into her room. She pointed under her bed. This is where Tom lives. My mom nervously crept down underneath the dark bed and looked around. There she found the empty jar of honey. My mom went back to full rage mode and grounded my little sister for making up stories. But I'm not lying, I swear. The next day, my mom stormed into my room again. What is wrong with you? You're stealing my liquor now? I didn't take anything, I said defensively. It was me again, mom. Amelia chimed in from the doorway. My mom shot her one of the scariest glares I'd ever seen her make. Let me guess. Tom drank it? Mm-hmm. You wouldn't let me give him the fancy honey anymore, so I had to give him something. Look. Again, we followed her to Tom's supposed hiding place. And sure enough, underneath Amelia's bed were the empty liquor bottles. My mom was furious. She thought my little sister had actually drank the booze herself. My mom grounded her for the remaining of the year, and my sister cried all night. She asked me if I believed her, and honestly, I wasn't sure. I mean, I knew she didn't drink the alcohol herself. If she had, she'd be dead. And I didn't think she was stupid enough to pour it all out in the name of her dumb game. But I told her I believed her. My sister and I went to the same school. During class the next day, I got called to the principal's office. Apparently, she had gotten in a fight during recess and ended up getting hurt pretty bad. Some so-called friends pushed her over onto a rock, and she had to be rushed to the hospital. They tried to reach my mom, but couldn't get a hold of her, so they asked for me to go to the hospital with her. I immediately rushed over to make sure my sister was okay. She was pretty beaten up. It was really tough to see. I'm so sorry, sis. It's not your fault. It's Tom's. She explained that since she couldn't give him treats anymore, he was making all her friends hate her. I couldn't believe what I was hearing. She was seriously still talking about Tom. Once my mom got to the hospital, I walked back home to do homework. Now, I don't believe in spirits or anything like that, but I thought, what if Amelia was actually interacting with something, something neither me nor my mom could see? I decided to do a brief online search. I typed, invisible friend who eats honey and liquor. I honestly didn't expect to find anything, but I came across a site that talked about something called a grugach. They were invisible house spirits that were helpful as long as you gave them what they want, typically expensive items such as honey or liquor. I couldn't believe it. Maybe that's who Tom was. I continued reading. However, if you make them angry by not offering them gifts, they will cause major harm. Never name a gruagach, for they will become permanently attached to you. If you manage to attach one to yourself and then refuse to pamper it, it will wreak havoc on your life. Not only that, it will make up for the lost help by stealing the host away as a slave. Oh no. 
When my mom finally came home, I told her about everything I had read. I tried to tell her that if we pissed it off anymore, it might take Amelia away as a slave. But my mom wasn't having it. I'm very tired and stressed. Please don't make things worse. A few days later, my sister was okay enough to come home from the hospital, but she had to stay in her room again until she was fully recovered. I can't stay in here. Tom might take me away. I haven't fed him in over a week. But my mom ignored her complaining and locked her in her room for the rest of the day. Later that night, my mom went to check on Amelia. She wanted to apologize for being so cruel earlier. But when my mom opened the room, Amelia wasn't there. She checked the closet underneath the bed. There was no sign of Amelia anywhere. Mom called the police and waited in the living room. Mom, you don't think that maybe- Elizabeth, please, not now. The police inspected our house and said they couldn't find any signs of anyone breaking in or running away. But they were gonna continue looking for Amelia. My mom left the house shortly after that. She said she needed some fresh air. She told me to stay home until she got back. So I stayed in my room until night. When I was about ready to go to bed, I heard something coming from my sister's room. I opened the door and found my mom on the floor in tears, surrounded by dozens of honey jars. She was calling underneath the bed. Please, I just want her back. Please just give her back. Please, Tom. Want more Something Scary? You can hear more stories over on the Something Scary podcast, available for free on Apple Podcasts or wherever you listen to your favorite shows. The links are in the description below. If you'd like to submit a story, send me an email at somethingscary at snarled.com. Like and share this video if it gave you the chills. And don't forget to subscribe to Snarled and turn on the bell for notifications. And if you dare, follow me on social media. Until next time, sweet dreams.